Onward. Onward and upward. More lens flows, yay. <coughs> Shitness. That's a frog. A leaping frog. Oh, I wish I had my leaping right there. Oh, run away. Uh, let's go over there. No! Uh, no can't okay. Well, shit. Shoot your thing. There you go. Okay. Just the thing we left. That's not good. to do it do it no there you go this isn't working no not working
All targets down. Yeah, no thanks to you two assholes. And down we go, deep into the mines of Moria. Now we go. Level up with style. Uh, see what we've got. Come now. There you go. Oh, we need decryption, lots of decryption, then lots of electronic. Side. Really? Dare to spit over the side. I love how they just sit there in the elevator. Almost like a puppets. Panic! Elevator malfunction. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Holy Please. shit. So much blue. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. You need a lot more than help, lady. Quit shouting, this place is crawling with geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side! I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You brought this on yourself. Yes. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. 
Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. God, I hate puzzles like this. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. idea how we get out of this place there is an elevator back in the center of the tower at least i i think it's an elevator it should take us out of here come on i i still cannot believe all this why would the geth come after me do you think benezia is involved saren's looking for the conduit think fast miss prothean expert the conduit but i don't know What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Yeah. I want to because he'll be dead. Larger. Boom, boom, boom. I hate this encounter. Probably gonna die. It's not gonna die. I don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Charge! <laughs> I like your attitude.
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's called sarcasm. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. God, I wish I looked like that in 50 years. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Cycle? What cycle? Is this the Matrix? What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Shut up and I'll tell you. <laughs> You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Yes, this isn't I helping am. us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. 
We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Oh, the patronizing tone. Go oh, fuck yourself. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Assholes. Ooh, level up. Four points. Me like it. Well, I think it's that time already. Time to flirt with the blue women. Yup. Yup. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Any chance she's in this for power or personal gain? No, not the Benezia I knew. But I hadn't spoken with my mother in many years. She may have changed. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. It's so adorably awkward. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. You got it. How much do you want to bet she's gonna say I should go? I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. I should go. I should go. I should go. Yes. 
so I think this is a good point to end this uh, two hour play playthrough uh, I guess I'll see you next time